Hi, my name is Jo. I'm the laser hair removal trainer at Pulse Light Clinic, and today we're going to be talking about our sun exposure protocol. So at Pulse Light Clinic, we recommend that our clients avoid sun exposure. There's a huge reason why, and that's to avoid damage to your skin. Laser hair removal is very safe on your skin as long as you do your job of avoiding direct sun exposure. Because when we go in the sun, the sun activates our melanocytes on the surface of the skin. Now, laser is designed to pick up on the melanin in your hair follicles, but if there's too much active melanin on the surface of your skin, the laser gets distracted and can pick up on that. Now, we don't want any of our clients to ever get any adverse reactions, so you have to do your part in always being honest and informing us if you do get sun exposure. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about our specific protocol here if you do go in the sun before or after your laser treatment. So a lot of clients do ask if they were to go in the sun, what happens? So we recommend if you do go in the sun that you at least apply lots of SPF 50 to protect the surface of your skin, at least avoid you from getting sunburn. But you have to be aware that the melanin increases on the surface of your skin so you would have to still follow our rules. You would wait six weeks after sun exposure and then we would be able to perform a patch test on you again. This is for safety reasons to make sure that the settings are still safe on your skin. In some rare cases, especially what we describe as a skin type 3, so this is a client who is Caucasian but they have an olive complexion, if you did have a very strong visible tan still, we would possibly still ask you to wait longer for your patch test just for safety. So that's really the only exception, but apart from that, six weeks, a patch test, and then you can commence your treatments again after 48 hours. The other way round, if you were to have laser and then you want to go on a holiday or you want to sunbathe in the UK, if it's sunny, um, you need to wait two weeks. We say this for every client and you would still need to apply SPF 50 to just to protect your skin, just to make sure there's no risk of you getting pigmentation. And again, we would want to remind you that if you did have that sun exposure after a treatment, you would have to then wait the six weeks, patch test, and then you can come back again. So some of our clients also ask, if I use sun cream, if I use SPF, can I still come back in and do my treatment? So we have to be very, very careful. Again, as I have highlighted, even with sun cream on, the UVA and UVB rays still impact your skin. Sun cream typically will stop you again from getting sunburn, but the sun will still impact your melanin in your skin. So basically the answer is no, you can't just do your treatment after using sun cream. We do give people some leeway if there's a particular situation where your sun exposure was very minimal, perhaps it was in low temperatures and you were wearing a very strong sun cream and you weren't in the sun for long, we may be with a senior member of staff to come and check your skin. We may allow you to still do your treatment, but generally we still say to everyone, even with sun cream on, unfortunately we can't do your treatment unless you wait six weeks and patch test again. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting and informative for you. We do get a lot of questions relating to sun exposure because everyone likes to go in the sun, but we do always say to our clients, it's really worth committing for a period to laser hair removal to get the best results. And then you can have your tanning on the beach a year later or so. Um, if you want to book a free consultation with us, you can contact us on social media via our website or give us a call. You can also walk into our branches and do consultations. We hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.